Hey guys, ni hao ni hao. Okay, please sell here and welcome to my first YouTube video where I'll be sharing with you about Albion Online and whether or not uh, you should start playing it just like me. Okay, so just a very quick summary on Albion Online. Yeah, for those of you who don't know what is it, it's a medieval fantasy sandbox MMORPG developed by Sandbox Interactive, a German studio or what I would say a B-Corp company in local uh, Singapore terms. Okay, it used to be a pay-to-play game, but uh, somewhere in uh, April 2019, it gone to a free-to-play model with a premium membership option available. Okay, and uh, something I like about uh, Arbion is that it is a cross-platform yeah, game, so you can actually have the uh, Windows PC version, the Linux version, the Mac OS X version, as well as the uh, Android version. Okay, so uh, for the purpose of this video, I'll be using the uh, Android version just to showcase uh, how how good it runs on the uh, phone. Okay, but do note that the APK yeah is not available on the Google Play Store, hence uh, you will have to download from the official Arbion Online uh, website if you want to uh, try it on the. Uh, Android okay so okay so what are the key features uh, of uh, Albion Online uh, you might ask so it actually features a uh, full loot uh, PvP okay uh, PvE of course uh, guild versus skill uh, real estate management yes you heard me real estate management you can actually own your own personal island where you can build houses farms, uh, raise uh, cows, etc, etc, okay, yeah, or uh, you can either uh, do it on your own, on your own personal island, or you can also, uh, if you join the guild, and your guild actually purchase a guild island, uh, you guys can actually uh, build and uh, develop your guild island, yeah, as, a, as, a, as a whole, uh, collective effort in the guild, okay. Arbion also features a classless system with full customization on what you want to be and how you want to play. Okay. It also features a full player driven economy where players can take a break uh, from their usual mob grinding and switch to things like farming, cooking, gathering and even fishing. Something which I like to do uh, if I have uh, nothing in particular uh, yeah, uh, that I want to uh, achieve uh, for the time, I will just go fishing. Okay. Basically, it creates an opportunity uh, for players like me to actually lead a second uh, material life in the world of Arpion. Okay. It really gives you something that you can try. Yeah. So, uh, this is my character. Okay. Yep. You can see here, let me turn it around. Okay. Uh, I started playing about two weeks plus back uh, and I'm uh, currently uh, using uh, trident, a two-handed trident, and uh, okay, this is not my armor armor gear. Okay, this is not my uh, PVE gear. La. Basically, it's a uh, more of a gathering gear. Okay, that's why it looks kind of cute. It's a it's a ranger, you know, you know, going around and you know, gathering stuff. All uh, those uh, what you call it, the boy scouts uh, wear. Okay, just to give you guys uh, some some uh, info on the uh, stats that's on the right. So the first stat is actually the fame. So uh, fame is the uh, equivalent of experience point yeah, in other uh, games. So in Arbion, uh, everything you do, yeah, everything you do except running around uh, and doing nothing. Okay, everything you do like fishing, gathering, uh, killing mob, cooking, etc. will earn you fames. Okay, so uh, fames are also uh, used to level up your particular uh, destiny uh, or path. Lah, okay, which I will explain that later. Okay, next is actually uh, silver. Silver is the uh, main in-game currency. Okay, and then uh, below you will see the uh, the gold coin icon. Yeah, that is the uh, gold currency. So gold is the premium currency uh, mainly used for cosmetic items uh, that you can buy in-game to beautify your characters or even the avatar. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, the crown icon yeah, below is actually uh, the premium. Uh, status that uh, yeah so for me uh, as you can see there is it shows uh, 15 D it means that I have uh, 15 days of uh, premium left yeah so for me I actually bought the uh, premium uh, second day into the game yeah I thought uh, which is why I think that uh, 
it is a good investment yeah because i really like the the, the open world uh, and uh, sandbox type of concept yeah which is why uh, I, I decided to buy the premium uh, on this on the uh, second day yeah okay so uh without further ado why not i just bring you into the Albion world okay let's click it in okay i actually parked my character in this uh steel height uh middle so you guys can see okay i'm going into the game now okay okay so this is my character yeah on the mount okay so i'm currently using a uh, transport ox mount so for people uh, for players that like uh games whereby they can actually ride on mouse uh Albion might be a good choice because there are really many many types of mouse available from donkeys to horses to to uh, panthers, to stags, to ravens, you know, things that fly also. Yeah, so uh, you have them all in the game, okay? So, yeah, it's also uh, pretty much feature, as you said, uh, as I mentioned, uh, Albion is a, a features an open world concept, okay? So, let me just open up the world map, okay? So, this is where uh, let me just center my camera to where i am now okay so this is where i am now okay so here okay uh as you can see still height is a uh, blue zone okay so in rb online we categorize uh tiles as you can see the tiles at the interview hall by zones so blue zones are tiles uh they are suitable for newbies like me because uh there's no pvp yeah you cannot get killed here yeah, if you happen to be your character happen to be killed or you know your HP drop to zero uh, when you're engaging with a mob, uh, you you get knock uh, they call it the uh, you get knock out you get knock out uh, and you need uh, there will be a countdown whereby you can recover from it and then uh, you don't lose anything. Okay, so it's very suitable for for players like me who is a very kiasi type. Okay, the kiasi means uh, scared to die. Uh, okay, to actually uh, to play in. Okay. The number, the Roman numbers that's beside the uh, the blue blue diamond, okay, signify the tier. So in Albion, uh, everything is uh, we we go by tier at a tier level tier system, okay. Uh, lower tier meaning uh, is a uh, lower level, whereby higher tier signify you know higher level la. So this is a tier four uh, tau. So. Uh, resources that are found here, mining resources, gathering resources that are found here, or even uh, mobs that are found here, are uh, actually of uh, tier four maximum. Okay. Then uh, moving up here, you can see this is the uh, yellow zone. So yellow zone are relatively safe as well for 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 newbies or kiasi player like me. Okay. But uh, players can actually flag for PVP. Yeah. If you are flag for PVP, then uh, you know you can't get PVP. So yeah, it's a little bit risky, but of course, uh, uh, it's also of a higher tier. That means uh, the resources found here are uh, more valuable. Okay. Then moving on, we have the red tier. Okay, red tier are for expert players, uh, people who really want to test their skills at uh, PvP and they are they are gung ho type. They're not scared to die one. Okay, they can actually try out. Uh, they can actually venture into the uh, red zones. Okay, so the red zones are also of a higher tier as compared to the blue zones. Okay, let's get see here. Then uh, next you will have the black zones. Okay, so these are the black zones. So similar to the red zones, black zones are full PvP. Okay, full PvP. Uh, meaning you can get uh, killed. Your character can get killed. Yeah, and if you get killed in the PvP. Uh, zone meaning basically the red and the black you will lose everything that you carry okay that includes your armor and your weapons yeah you lose everything yeah the only two things that you don't lose is your silver and your gold yeah so if you get uh, somehow you get killed in the pre uh, in the blue or black zone you'll be running around naked yeah so to say lah okay Okay, next, uh, there's also one more thing that I want to show you, which is the Destiny board. 
okay i will not go very deep in that because i think um i don't want this uh introductory video to be too too much in depth uh, maybe in future my future videos i, I, I will I have something that's uh, much more in depth into these certain areas also because i'm like you still a newbie learning how to play this game okay so yeah so anyway this is the uh destiny board okay here is uh, where you develop your character in the way you want the destiny board uh, basically show you everything you you are okay and which path you would like to take okay to be an expert in certain weapons or using certain armors right will require you to keep using the weapon or armor and earning fames to level your expertise in it okay so let me just give you an example okay I'm an, uh, yeah, I'm a spear spear user. Okay, so I've been leveling this to level forty three now, as you can see. So at forty three, I'm I'm able to use tier six. Yeah, tier six, uh, weapons, or tier six uh, spears. Uh. However, if I were to use uh, another weapon class that I have totally no experience in, like for example the bowl. Yeah, you know, I can't even use a normal tier four, a uh, tier four weapon. <laughs> yeah, so, if you choose, uh, you you can basically choose any weapon class that you want to use, any weapons that you want to use. Yeah, you just need to, you, in order to be proficient in it, you just need to continue using it. Uh. The same applies for for uh, gathering skills as well. Okay, you need to be proficient in them, keep using them, uh, leveling them, so you can go for higher tier uh, resources gathering. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Uh, maybe I will just uh, you know venture around. You know, just to let you guys see how's the gameplay like. Here, maybe I will just uh I'll show you guys. Yeah, the lag is really bad. I think my connectivity is really bad. Okay, let me just show you guys how I usually engage and do my uh, skinning. Okay, this forgive my combo usage i'm not really uh, very good at comboing <laughs> still learning how to use this game okay. so uh, basically using most of my uh, spears skills okay. i like to actually gather uh, a, a few uh, mobs uh, together then i uh, use my skill of them because uh, you know it's a better roi lah, especially when you have uh, aoe skill sets uh, available okay so what i did here is i killed to stack and I'm uh, skinning them now for their medium height. Okay, medium height is a uh, tier four height. So, uh, once you are familiar with the game, you will know uh, which mob give you which tier of the resources. Okay. So basically, in Albion, right? Uh, there's a few resources uh, type available. Okay. So there are the ores that you can mine from rocks, okay. wood that you can uh, chop down from trees, then of course uh, uh, cloth that you can actually get from, I, I don't know what you call these, uh, the bushes, yeah. <laughs> and of course uh, heights uh, where you can get from uh, animals, okay, animal mobs. So these are all raw materials which uh, you will need to refine them. Yeah into for example heights uh, you will refine them into leather and then uh, with leather you can either sell them uh, they are of a higher value to sell as compared to the raw material height or you can actually use them to craft uh, armors yeah leather armors yeah and then uh, resell them or you can easily use them so in our beyond uh, weapons you can uh, because like i mentioned before this is a player driven uh, economy system so uh, either you know to to use specific weapons tools or even uh any any other things uh, okay uh you will have to either craft them yourself yeah, for self-usage or you have to buy them uh from the market of course if you are in the guild okay you can actually have your guild mate to help you craft them and then uh you can you can actually uh you know buy from them or, or loan from them i don't know yeah okay it, it really depends on how generous your guild mates are Okay, so, uh, okay, maybe you guys may ask, uh, what are those uh, green little uh, portal-like uh, things? Okay, so these are actually random generated dungeons. 
So yeah, if you if you are tired of uh, gathering or killing uh, surface mobs, you can actually go dungeon. Okay, go into dungeon. Dungeon is also uh, denoted by the uh, tier, uh, and they are denoted based on uh, which tile they are in. For example, uh, the current tile that we are in is a uh, tier four tile, as you can see here. Center again back. Yeah, so it's a tier four tile. Hence the dungeon here also a tier four dungeons. Okay. Uh, if you are using a tier five weapons and a tier five armor, okay, soloing a tier four dungeon should not be a problem. Yeah, I would say it, it should be easy because uh, uh basically I, I can solo it uh, myself. Okay. Uh but if you are using a lower tier or same tier, then uh, maybe consider going into a dungeon uh, with your guildmates. Yeah, going to a dungeon with your guildmates will be a better option. Yeah. Okay. But uh, a lot of people will, have, will, 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 will say, like, especially those uh, players who have been playing Arbion for a while, they will say that Arbion is a game whereby it's not really meant for solo players. But uh, if you were to ask me, uh, I mean, it, 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 it can work both ways. Okay. Uh, I'm more of a, a solo player myself, uh, but I like the uh, social aspect whereby I can chat with my uh, guildmates on, on Discord or, or even in-game. Yeah, and I also contribute to actually, uh, uh, in the way, uh, groom my, my, my guild, uh, the guild that I, I'm in. Okay? So, it, it really is a, it's a open thing. Yeah, you don't really need to be a, you know, be a guild player or a, 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 a really a community players to, to, to really play Avion. Yeah, it's, oh. it's basically for everyone. Okay. So, ah, uh, why am I not engaging that little stack here? Okay. So, so basically you can see that this is my combo. A jump, then a multi-shot, which I really like it. The animation is damn cool. It's like a machine gun oh. actually. Uh, then I will start harvesting. Gathering, you know, skinning that. Okay. Yeah, so I think uh, I have said enough. Okay, and I shall not uh, deep dive too much into the uh, game because I think, like I said before, this is more of an intro uh, video and then just to give you a glimpse of uh, Arbion and to share with you uh, why I like about the game. Okay, so to answer the uh, earlier question of whether uh, you should or should not start playing Arbion, well, uh, if you like me, if you're like me, uh, someone who prefer an open world sandbox game, and most importantly, not a pay to win type, then uh, Arbion uh, might be a good choice uh, that uh, you may want to consider. But uh, do be prepared, uh, although it's not a pay to win game, it will demand a certain amount of your time, uh, your precious time to be invested in order to truly enjoy the game. But then, uh, having said that, uh, this is the uh, COVID uh, period. Yeah, so uh, everyone around the world is uh, either staying at home or have some uh, flexible working arrangement already in place. So I think there might be some free time. Yeah, and furthermore, uh, Albion now is a free to play. You know, it's, 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 it's not a pay to play game. It's a free to play. And, uh, you know, since uh, it's free, uh, why not give it a try? If you don't really like it, you know, just uninstall it. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's not really going to uh, matter much, okay? Yep. So, yeah, that's it, okay? Uh, I'm not too sure whether you want to see me. Maybe I should engage something. Maybe i show you guys. Uh, let's engage something a little bit more aggressive. Uh, let's engage a lap leopard uh, and uh, maybe uh, some demon type uh, creatures etc yeah same thing apply my combo jump stand and lastly uh, jump uh, it's not dying come on die. yes die yes okay yeah yeah oh so the tiger also gave me some uh, tin heights okay there's a different class different tier so if you open up the inventory you can see these are the things that I collected yeah. As I mentioned before, I really like fishing, so I have a fishing rod always ready with me. <laughs> yeah, whenever I see a place where I can fish, I will start fishing them. Okay, well, uh, so that's it. 
I don't think I want to deep dive any more further. So, time for me to get back uh, and continue my gathering and skinning. And hope you guys uh, like, subscribe, and comment my videos. And uh, till the next video, stay home, stay safe, everyone. And sayonara and ciao.